Well, it happened, Paula. All my bad habits finally caught up with me. Oh, all the bad habits that people told me, don't do that, they'll catch up. They didn't just catch up with me, my bad habits. Uh, they dragged me into an alley and beat the snot out of me. <laughs> I'm telling you, in the last three years, I had uh, both hips replaced. Both of them, yeah. I had my spine uh, surgically rebuilt. I had a, a pacemaker put in uh, with a defibrillator. So if at some point during the show, I go flying across the stage. <laughs> Don't worry. And I had quadruple bypass surgery. I know! With a pig valve put in. I have a pig valve, but you know what that means. With a pig valve, I can't be buried in a Jewish cemetery now. <laughs> I'm not even Jewish, and it wasn't, you know. <laughs> my doctor says, my doctor says, now with all these, uh, uh, all these surgeries I've had, you know, I could live to be 100. I'm telling you, I've had so many parts moved around, I'm starting to feel like Mrs. Potato Head. <laughs> and he says, you could live to be 100. I go, you do it, I'll sue you for malpractice. <laughs> to live to be a hundred, right? Have you ever seen hundred-year-old people? They're creepy. I mean, they are, you always see them on the Today Show, right, they wheel them out. They don't even know where they are. They wheel them out, the guy's like, eh. Is this Iwo Jima? Right, and then they put the little, <laughs> they put the little coat hat on the guy's head, right? And they pull the strap down, they let go, his whole face goes flying up in the air. Like... <laughs> right, and then they wheel him, wheel off the cake with a hundred candles, like, get that candle away from him! He's on oxygen, for crying out loud! I'm gonna blow the place up! Hundred years old, for crying out loud. I figure I'll go to like 80, 83 maybe tops, and I'll do, you know, I'll do one last big Costco shopping. And when all the toilet paper's gone, I'm out of here. <laughs> I had to quit smoking, you know. I did, I was smoked for 55 years to smoke for, I did, I know. And then uh, uh, I couldn't breathe. I, well, I know, and I, I said, you know, maybe there's a connection. <laughs> I was in New York City with I was walking up, I walked like a block and a half. Right up, I'm gasping for air, and I'm, I'm starting to see dead relatives the end of the block. Going, <laughs> oh, my grandpa! I had to think about final arrangements. What are you getting done, uh, Paula? Paula, thank you. <laughs> what are you getting done with yourself? Oh, uh, grave. Grave, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm getting cremated, yeah. I am, I, you too, yeah. Big, big fan, cremation, yeah! <laughs> I do, but I want to lose some weight first. <laughs> well, because I don't want my family to have to go shopping for like a plus-sized urn. <laughs> I see my sister coming out of the urn barn going, that fat tub of lard, man. <laughs> huh? On a burial at sea, all of a sudden they're gonna be like, we're gonna need a bigger boat, that's all. I'm... <laughs> they go to scatter my ashes in the ocean, now the EPA is involved. <laughs> like, you know, you made a sandbar here with your sister. I look around and you're all, there's a lot of young people here. And I, I hate young people so much, I do. <laughs> I do, it's nothing personal. I just, if I could, I would suck the youth right out of you. I would come down there like you, look at you. I'm just, I would just stand, I go, come here, like. <laughs> Cause it's hard to keep up. You know, I, as a comedian, we have to keep current about what's going on in the world, you know? And, 
Uh, I, like I just found out that Ariana Grande is not a coffee drink at Starbucks. <laughs> She's a person, I didn't know that. 